What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing video. As you can see, I got some Jawas. Let's start unboxing these things, take a closer look, and get the army built. All right, as promised, I'm going to uh, unbox some Jawas. Uh, I have picked these things up over the last couple of months or so. A lot of clearances. I think altogether, I may have 30 bucks in all of these. I mean, it was ridiculous how cheap I was able to get them from time to time. But uh, yeah, I got eight of them. So uh, it's that time. We'll, uh, we'll open one of them up, take a closer look. You know, check check him out. Check out the Jawas, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's get it started. This is, uh, I mean, I've, I've got um, some Jawas. Uh, this one, the, these here I actually really liked a lot more than the other ones that I've got because of the color on these. The color on these looks really good. So, uh, yeah, this entire video is going to be me unboxing these things. I hope, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, ah, come on, get out of there. Oh, okay, okay. Don't need that. Oh, oh that, that is brutal. All right, let's take a look at some of the accessories. Uh, this is a coil of something, but uh, looks really, really cool. You know, a nice little, uh, little dio piece. And we also have this little bad boy here. Uh, it almost looks like it clips in somehow. Interesting. Very, very cool. But, uh, yeah, right there. And, of course... We got the uh, blunderbuss. <laughs> if you know anything about uh, way back, you know, revolutionary pirates, things like that, that's sort of what it reminds me of, a blunderbuss. So, uh, yeah, so we got weapons. As far as the Jawa itself, I don't really expect a lot, but uh, so far, the head articulation is not too bad. It's got decent... Decent arm. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't think we're going to have much in the hip-wise because this is a very, very... Uh, you're not going to get him any like, crazy poses. Just say. Um, pretty much standard. <laughs> Does he even have knee joints? I'm curious. I am really, really curious here. Does he? I d um, he does, but it's not like a crazy uh, knee joint. Yeah, not 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 crazy at all. So uh, yeah, pretty much standing up. That's what uh, that's what the jaw was gonna be doing. He's just gonna be hanging out, standing up, chilling, relaxing. If I can ever get him to stand up. There you go. He stands up. All right. Boom. Get these bad boys opened up. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to cut to the chase. Get these bad boys cut open. All right. And, you know, a lot of people's going to be like, Greg, seriously, Jawas? Really? I'm like, yeah. Especially when you get them dirt cheap. I mean, some of these I think I only paid like six bucks for them. I mean, it was uh, it was crazy how ridiculously cheap they were. As I make all of this a needless noise that you're going to get to enjoy. But that's part of the unboxing, right? That's part of it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some kind of uh, 
thing with the the accessories here. That's right, I'm not saving the boxes either. Got that. Got that. Got that. Oh, and I, I made it. All right. Yeah, anytime you can uh, get figures on clearance and stuff, that's the time to, seriously, that's the time to army build. When you can find figures, um, especially things like this with the Jawas, the Jawas actually, I think, is a, is a good choice for any kind of army build or group build. Just for the simple fact that there's always more than one, you know? I mean, a couple of them, pair, two, you know, there's there's always, always Jawas. So, and I know this one here is Tika, but it's a Jawa. This is Bob. That's who that is. That's Bob. Bob the Jawa. <laughs> I mean, seriously, does it, I mean, they all look the same. I mean, come on. I'm actually surprised. Uh, let me look here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't really say much. Did I not, yeah, I cut that. I can already tell you right now, I'm already digging what I'm seeing. And I will say one thing, too, about Java's. They don't take up a lot of space. They really don't. And I like getting all these little accessories. These these little accessories can come in come in handy. Uh, very much so. Last two. I also recommend having a a garbage can really close to you when you unbox gobbles. Or anything. Especially if you're doing multiples. And here it is. Last one right there. Boom. You know, I've often wondered if the garbage man ever, like, why has he got so many toy boxes? <laughs> I mean, you know. What can I say, right? Got that box there. Boom. All right. Look at here. We got a pile of Jawas. We got a pile of this. We got a pile of this right here. And we got some weapons. Look at this. This is so cool. It's almost like um, if you've ever seen the movie um, Close Encounters of the Third Third Kind when all the little aliens come out of the ship. That's sort of what uh, reminds me of. Um I don't know what kind of pose I can get them into, but let me get them in a pose and we'll come back and we'll talk more about the Jawas. All right, there you go, Jawas. And like I was saying earlier, all these little accessories, I mean, look, you can, you can create something really cool with it. Um, I mean, you're not going to get a lot of crazy poses or nothing like that. But if you just need some like backfill for, you know, trooper displays or just anything, if you can find these like for clearance, like I did. Yeah. That's how I recommend doing it. Full price. No. Uh, and I can honestly say two of these were the only ones I think I paid full price for the rest of these, the rest of the six were on clearances. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like 680 a piece, something like that. So again, I would have, I probably would not have done this in Jawas full price. Not like I would with uh, troopers or anything like that. But again, clearances, it was a no brainer. And as you can see, this looks pretty good. I mean, you can set up anything. Jawas, man, they're always scavenging. They're looking for things. They're buying and selling and stealing and everything. Uh, but again, if you're doing like a diorama or anything like that, these make good feel because they will go with anything. So, yeah. 
And if I can find any more of these on clearance, I'll continue to add to it. But honestly, in my area, I don't think I'm going to see any more Jawas. I really don't. But again, I think this looks really, really cool. I think you can have some fun with them. Um, and just as an addition, as a feel, uh, that's the beauty of it. If you're setting up any kind of photography or doing any kind of a scene, Jawas make good feel. In other words, they're just backdrop or you know anywhere but uh yeah let me know what you think let me know what you think about my little jawa unboxing um, i had people reach out to me and they said hey greg when are you gonna unbox your jawas and i was like okay i'll do it and so for you folks this video is for you, for everyone that actually uh reached out to me and asked me that question so there they are jawas so uh, now i got to figure out, uh, now that I've laid this out, it's actually sort of gave me some ideas with that new diorama from Extreme Sets that uh, has sort of a Star Wars vibe to it. And uh, yeah, these will make some good additions to that. But guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, it wasn't nothing, you know, crazy exciting. This was just a promise that uh, that I told people that I would do. So but I'm actually really happy that I finally got these unboxed because honestly, I think they look pretty good. Um, like I said, I mean, I love the color on these and just this little scene right here. Um, they look really good. I'm actually thinking about Jen Urso, uh, no, wait a minute, Ray's, Ray Speeder. Um, something like that, you know, you could take and, I'm going to see if I can find something that maybe I can 3D print and that's damaged and have these guys, you know, scavenging and things like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or take an existing uh, vehicle like uh, Ray Speeder uh, or the other one from uh, Solo. I can't never think of the name of that one. And then just have it like all damaged and stuff would be very, very cool. Uh, how cool would it be to have a 112th scale sand crawler for these things it'd be like ginormous but anyway guys that's it hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you thought about today's video if this is your first time uh, to my channel if you enjoy this type of content hey do me a favor consider hitting that subscribe button if you do subscribe make sure and turn notifications on that way you'll know when i drop videos and do live streams and everything else also, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. All this stuff helps the channel grow. And that's that's something I really want to do is I want to see the channel grow. And finally, please always remember, Jawas refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.